Hello everybody. I have a box of 1997 Action Vision from Press Pass. It's the only year and only time they ever made this product. And it was, I think, an answer to the previous year's M-Force, which had the first race use sheet metal cards ever available in any product. And then in 97, they didn't do M-Force, they did Action Vision. And it allowed you to pull the last four sheet metal cards that were in the nine cards set. The first were released in 1997, Press Pass VIP, green box, green packs. You could pull a Jeff Gordon sheet metal, Jeff Gordon, Bobby Lamonte, I'm drawing a blank. You could pull a Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, Bill Elliott, Rusty Wallace, oh, come on, <laughs> or Terry Labonte out of the VIP. Out of the Action Vision, you could pull a Dale Sr., Ernie Irvin, Mark Martin, or Dale Jarrett. <clears throat> you can also, <clears throat> excuse me, you could also pull sheet metal or uh, autograph cards out of here. You can see on the front there, see they show the Dale Earnhardt sheet metal card and then they show the Jeff Gordon certified autograph. Show you walk you around the box. I've opened one of these on the channel before and I have opened one. I didn't make a video of it. It was on my birthday three years ago. And I pulled the Sterling Marlin autograph and a multicolor Ernie Irvin sheet metal card, which is in my collection. Both of those cards are in my collection. My 97 press pass autograph uh, collection and then also the 97 press pass uh, VIP sheet metal set. The interesting thing about these cards is that they're motion cards. Base cards, I believe you get 16 packs in a box. Let's see. Yeah, 16 packs in a box. It's a 12 card set. I believe in the four or five boxes I've opened of this, I've gotten an entire set out of each one. So I think the collation is pretty nice that way. You're at least going to get a full set. I already have a set of these, so these are just going to be duplicates. Not sure what I'll do with them. Maybe try to send them off to get signed. I'm not sure because they have those little, they're like ribbed cards because they're motions. There's like two or three seconds of actual footage on these cards. That sticker right there is because these were uh, tried to be resold through uh, retailers like Target, Walmart, um, Kmart at the time probably was like $30 a box usually by the company that's called vintage or they have vintage on the on the actual wrapping so here we go hopefully we pull a sheet metal card and or an autograph and hopefully they're both Dale Earnhardt Sr. that would be freaking wild and it can happen and why not me you know why not us why not now why not in front of you guys 16 packs. There we go. All right, pack number one. Oh, let's do the, show you the odds and everything. VIP club, only $35 to receive your year-long trading card race and race collectible benefits. 972. Yeah, buddy. 972. That's Texas, right? Yep. Nashville, Texas. Wait. There we go. Pack number one. Come in these little sleeves, which are nice. Keep the cards protected, especially if it's a sheet metal or a autograph card. So Dale Jarrett, winning 1996 date. Or is this? No. Atlanta. See? Whammo. Boom. Freaking cool. All right. 
Got DJ. It's like it's another base card. I think this is just the press pass bucks. We got Terry. Champion, 1996. So he won the championship in 84 and then in 1996, which was really sweet, really cool. Whoops, didn't mean to pause it there. I didn't mean to break it. Pack number Jeff Gordon. Dang. I'm trying to get the screenshots or I'm trying to take the picture because there's another button when you're recording video, you can take an actual still while you're recording it. And sometimes I'm just hitting the Rec uh, the record button. It's canceling it. So there. It's Jeff Gordon. Pretty cool. Come on, Earnhardt. Autograph and or sheet metal card. Multicolor sheet metal card. I'm trying to will it into existence. That's awesome. Look at that. I mean, these are awesome cards, especially for the time. I guess they could sign. They'd probably sign on the smooth part which would technically be the back of the card because see it can't it doesn't actually do the motion but if they signed on the front but it's got the you know it's got those ribs just such a cool cool concept cool design Awesome. Come on, guys. Let's get a sheet metal. Let's get something. Come on, autograph. Come on, sheet metal. Something. Let's pull it. Texas Terry at Texas. I believe that was the first race. Freaking awesome cards. All right, come on. Ooh, this one feels a little. No, what we got? Come on. Nah, nothing. I mean, it's a base card. It's not nothing, but come on, sheet metal. There it is, right there. There's the man. loved the Monte Carlo when it came out in 1995. I just really enjoyed just the aerodynamics, just the roundness of the car, especially the, just, I can't remember what this is called, C pillar, I can't remember, B pillar, just the piece of sheet metal that was over the rear fender that led, you know, that was between the rear windshield and the rear window. Just loved that for some reason, I'm not exactly sure why aerodynamics or something. I'm, I'm not sure what made me so attracted to that, but I thought it was freaking cool. All right, 
Right, come on, guys. Come on, sheet metal. Show yourself. I know you want to. I know, you know. Let's see, we got another. It's our first dupe. Duplicate. And I know if that sheet metal's in there, it wants to breathe, right? It hasn't, it hasn't seen, had air in 15 years, or 20, <laughs> almost 20 years. Is that 20 years? No, in 25 years. 26 years. Oh, here we go. This one's sweet. It's Bill Elliott. I mean, he hurt himself. It's just a spectacular piece of footage. I think he broke his back or compressed it or something from that boom right there. Right on the driver's side. Boom. Our bodies are not meant to take that, and yet he's still walking. Elliot takes his lumps. I mean, that's a wild that we, that they had the technology back then to do this. Let's see. Fractured leg. There we go. All right, we're getting down to it. I think we've got like four packs left, five packs left. Dupe of the Terry. Cool. There it is. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Jeff Gordon winning at Daytona. Let's get that Jeff Gordon up here again. Two more packs. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Something. Something. Nothing in this one. What the heck? Come on. Come on. Give me something. Let me hit something. Nah, man. What the heck? Womp womp. I mean, they're cool cards, and I did have the chance of pulling an autograph for a sheet metal, and I didn't. And it's like one every ten boxes or something, so. Anyway, that's that. 1997 Press Pass Action Vision. Didn't pull anything. It was fun to open and a little disappointing. And we're going to move on to the next one. I think we will do 1996 Press Pass next. I'm trying to pull a burning rubber card out of there. Have never done that. And then the last one will be the 1997 Press Pass Premium. So thanks again for watching. And I look forward to the next one. All right. Thanks.